going to be starting. Welcome to our Woody Guthrie 100th birthday birthday celebration. And uh, I wanted to let you know that if you have any electronic equipment, cell phones, etc., that might make some noise during the evening, turn them off. And we have emergency exits over here. We have bathrooms right outside. And um, I wanted to let you know that tonight's format is going to be round robin. Each half is going to feature certain performers, and they're just going to go around the circle and do various songs by Woody Guthrie. And on the first half of the program, we are going to have Lynn Bernstein, Frank Tetler, Bob Lusk, and Jay March. The papers that are on some of your chairs are words to songs that Jamie's going to sing, but obviously, please feel free to sing along with any of the Woody Guthrie songs that you love and you know. And I just wanted to tell you that um, I wrote a paper on Woody Guthrie in 10th grade, and I got an A on it. <laughs> and I also have the rest for the occasion. So please enjoy tonight, and please do sing along and, and have a great time. Oh, and at the break, there's a cake with Woody Guthrie's face on it. So we're all going to have to fight over who gets the face, you know, like when you fight over who gets the rose. So um, without further ado, here are our wonderful folk guild people singing and talking about Woody Guthrie. Maker of a thousand songs, good ones and bad ones. The man who said, any fool can make something complicated. It takes a genius to make it simple. And he said, anyone who uses more than two chords is just showing off. <laughs> genius and rabble rouser and so much more. Pete Seeger said of Woody, Woodrow Wilson Guthrie was our national treasure, the writer and singer of a thousand songs. In Woody's songs, we saw the face of America. John Steinbeck wrote this about Woody. Woody's just Woody. Thousands of people do not know he has any other name. He is just a voice and a guitar. He sings the songs of a people, and I suspect that he is, in a way, that people. Harsh-voiced and nasal, his guitar hanging like a tire iron on a rusty rim. There is nothing sweet about Woody, and there is nothing sweet about the songs he sings. But there is something more important for those who will listen. There is the will of the people who endure to endure and fight against oppression. I think we call this the American spirit. One thing I like about Woody Guthrie is that he could take somebody else's song and change the words and change the melody and do anything he wanted to it and make it into his own song. And that's what he did with this song, and that's what I'm going to do with this song, too. So, I've got a new voice that you won't hear anywhere else, I think. I learned it from a group called Acoustic Mayhem. And it goes like this. Ha ha, ha ha, ha ha, ha ha, I got that. Ha ha, ha ha, ha ha.
space and time at the corner of July 14, 1912, and Okima, Oklahoma, was a long shot to produce anything like a national treasure. Woody was born in one of the most desolate places in America, just in time to come of age in the worst period in our history. He became the living embodiment of everything a people's revolution is supposed to be about. That working people have dignity, intelligence, and value above and beyond the market's demand for their labor. For me personally, Woody is my hero of heroes and the only person on earth that I will go to my grave reg regretting that I never met. That's from the pen of Steve Earle. Robert Shel <coughs> Shelton wrote in his introduction to Woody's autobiography, Born to Win. We must look beyond the songs to find the full importance of Woody Guthrie. As a songmaker, he has earned the stature he deserves, but his reputation as a writer, poet, and philosopher is still underground and must be brought into the light. When his songs, poems, and essays are studied in our American literature classes, this omission may be right. <coughs> It's a mighty hard road that my poor hands could hold. My poor feet have traveled a hot, dusty road.
Another one uh, pretty moral, possibly from the Carter family. And what's significant to me is that he recorded it in 1963, four years before he died. Can you hear part of those this? You died alone. That love so bad. You died alone.
And Woody himself wrote in Pastures of Plenty, I have hoped as many hopes and dreamed so many dreams, seen them swept aside by weather and blown away by men, washed away in my own mistakes, that I used to wonder if it wouldn't be better just to haul off and quit hoping, just protect my own inner brain my own mind and heart by drawing it up into a hard knot and not having any more hopes or dreams at all. Pull in my feelings and call back all of my sentiments and not let any earthly event move me in either direction, either cause me to hate, to fear, to love, to care, to take sides, to argue the matter at all. And yet, there are certain good times and pleasures that I never can forget, no matter how much I want to, because the pleasures and the displeasures, the good times and the bad, are really all there is to me. And these pleasures that you cannot ever forget are the yeast that always starts working in your mind again, and it gets in your thoughts again, and in your eyes again, and then all at once, no matter what has happened to you, you are building a brand new world again, based and built on the stakes, the wreck, the hard luck and trouble of the old one. Let me be known as just the man that told you something you already knew. <laughs> Life has got a habit of not standing hitched. You got to ride it like you find it. You got to change it. If a day goes by that don't change some of your old notions for new ones, that is just about like trying to milk a dead cow. <laughs> so this is Woody Guthrie, Woodrow Wilson Guthrie, a scrawny, scrappy little guy that was afraid of no one, who said, take it easy, but take it. <laughs> Okay. 
did you say anything about how what he offended people? <laughs> yeah. Well, <clears throat> not sure why I'm doing this song in a church. I wonder if Woody would have been brave enough. But, uh, so he wrote this song about Jesus Christ, uh, and he had his own take on Jesus Christ. And uh, I guess a lot of people back there when he wrote it liked it, because they wrote more verses to it. And about in the 1950s, um, Dave Van Rock and a bunch of other people had written some verses, and it got published in a songbook called The Boss's Songbook. And I picked it up in Washington Square Park back in the 60s from some city university students. You know, they also introduced me to McSorley's Old Ale House. So, you know, the road to hell was made with old music. <laughs> Jesus Christ was a man who traveled through the land, a carpenter, true and brave. Said to the rich, give your money to the poor. So they laid Jesus Christ in his grave. Born in 29 BC in a barn in Galilee, bathed in his unwed mother's tears. Well, he fought the ruling classes, preached the gospel to the masses, and predated marks by 1800 years. Yeah. 
song that everybody should know. This land is your land. 